In this section, internal standard calibration will be discussed. SW846 method 8000C defines the internal standard calibration as follows. Internal standard calibration involves the comparison of the instrument responses from the target compounds in the sample to the responses of reference standards added to the sample or sample extract before injection. SW846 method 8000C further states that the response of the target compound is normalized, that is, corrected to the response of the reference standard. This reference standard is called an internal standard because it is contained within the aliquot of the sample or sample extract that is actually injected into the instrumentation. In the internal standard calibration, a constant amount of the internal standard is added to all samples or extracts. That same amount of the internal standard is also included in each of the calibration standards. In the internal standard calibration, the ratio of the peak area or height of the target compound in the sample or sample extract to the peak area or height of the internal standard in the sample or sample extract is compared to a similar ratio derived for each calibration standard. In the case of metals analysis, the emission counts of the internal standard in the sample or extract is compared to a similar ratio derived for each calibration standard. This ratio is termed the response factor, RF indicating that the target compound response is calculated relative to that of the internal standard. The term relative response factor, RRF, is also used, which is the average of all the response factors from the calibration standards. As noted on the equations, the response factor which is used in internal standard equation now factors in the internal standard ratio where the area of the compound is multiplied by the concentration of the internal standard and then divided by the area of the internal standard and concentration of the compound. When multiple internal standards are used in an analytical run, the method links individual internal standards to a group of compounds. However, the laboratory SOP must specify the internal standards to be used for which compounds. Other than response factor, models such as linear regression Quadratic and polynomial can also be applied when the RSD is not within acceptable limits or when the internal standard is used only as a retention time marker and or for normalizing small response drifts. RSD is explained in the CFRF presentation. The internal standards is based on the similarity in their analytical behavior to the compounds of interest and not expected to be found in the samples. The analyst needs to demonstrate that the measurement of the internal standard is not affected by target analytes, surrogates, or by matrix interferences. In general, internal standard calibration is not as useful for GC and HPLC methods with non-MS detectors because of the inability to chromatographically resolve many internal standards from the target compounds. The advantages of the internal standard calibration is that it accounts for routine variation in the response of the chromatographic system in the case of the organic analyses. Internal standard calibration also accounts for routine variation in the exact volume of sample or sample extract introduced into the chromatographic system. Another advantage is the retention times of the target compound and the internal standard may be used to calculate the relative retention time of the target compound. The RRT can then be used to compensate for small retention time shifts. When multiple internal standards are employed, the target compounds are associated with the internal standards on the basis of the respective retention times. So the internal standard should be chosen to cover the range of expected retention times of the target compounds. The principal disadvantage to internal standard calibration is that the internal standards must be compounds that are not found in the samples to be analyzed and they must produce an unambiguous response. That is, the identification and quantitation of the internal standard must be accurate on the chromatographic detector system.